Ba -da. Well, me and my allies control pretty much two thirds of the map. Mostly because we haven't encountered any easy persistence yet. How do I kill that? and start shooting at these guys. Right. No idea how I'm gonna attack the exterminator, but I do have to attack it. See, within firing range, and we'll just go away if we don't kill it. Again, I don't want to attack these. They, they'll retreat, repair, and come and attack us properly if we do that. Not something we want. I give this guy experience. The thing is, we have very little air force, we have 18 points, very very cool. We might be able to get one or two units in good condition, however, nothing here really requires it. We might lose the aircraft if we attack, if we don't, they might destroy something valuable. Start moving as bumps. Yeah, I think the Medusa would be more sturdy if we could stay here. But that's about the only benefit it would have. I could dump. Uh, yeah, I think I'll dump the old star here. Start uh, ferrying these. It's much more important that I get them into some kind of position here than uh, getting some a low experience pull so to go somewhere. I think I'll move the elixir to cover. It's our only one, and even at a half hail, it might be weak enough to be destroyed. That's something we cannot allow to happen. At the same time, I suppose I could cover it as... I, I don't think they can see us. But if we lose the elixir, then we're... We're thoroughly fucked up badly. Oh, 
fight. So a second dose of experience. Not sure if we need it. It'll I'm basically doing to add survivability. Attacking the battleship at this point is gonna be bloody. But with this much experience we might actually survive a single attack. And I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I think I will if we manage to weaken it a little bit with the seaplane. probably want to take that. Uh, I think we're very thoroughly in the medium range missile range at that point though. So maybe we should... Uh... This might be a more important target to try to keep. The moment the yellow loses it, we will have to jump on up the opportunity to maintain it. This might be hard to maintain because of the medium range himself. No surprise, really. Um, we need to kill things, not just uh, damage them. Yeah, the samurai came from the east places, that's why they yep, that's why they have so much fuel. Okay. Can't attack them. spread our attacks at this point a little bit. We have to kill any everything anyway. And I don't want them to try to retreat at this point. to take action but not rush either. What about the seaplane? Could attack. Because uh, we can easily reach here where the battleship is and uh, the preparations are not done. At the same time I don't think I I'm not sure I want the samurai to have an opportunity to try to attack against it. Ignore it. Attack the other guys. A 
certainly could use experience. And it's gonna be very tough to just kill this outright. Two units of attack against it. And if I repair it, it's uh, I'm not gonna lose anything. So even if they do decide to do something, I'll be fine. At the very least, I, I think we need to secure a base area and take down the battleship. Try to prevent them from taking over the airfield. And there goes the radar. They're quite expensive. I guess we'll just have to suck it up. Probably forgot that they have an air force of their own. The airplane has to die. Full experience exterminator is going to basically slaughter a unit every turn. Rangers, lovely. I'm not sure if we can uh, be parading control. I didn't realize what kind of a uh, lot of units they have coming our way. Plans. I think we'll have to secure the front against red first before we can do pretty much anything. Entire emplacement Medusa. I think we do want to bring entire units out of other than the Medusas here too. With the aircraft we have, maybe we can produce an extra one. We do have to take on the battleship.
might be able to... Well... I, I don't know. The problem is, they have a very good spotter there. I don't think we can take it by surprise. Wonder should I get more experience? I mean, uh, we, I can't leave here anyway until this is yeah, so maybe a little bit more. Right. They're not exactly in full at full experience, but they're very, very, very good. And they could annihilate aircraft without uh, even trying. Can't lose the tanker airplane. It's not gonna contribute anything useful in down. We are within strike distance to capture that whenever the opportunity arises. It, they will lose it, no doubt about that. It's gonna be a miracle if I'm not gonna be slaughtered. Ooh, this guy doesn't have its main. Uh, Ground attack weapon Buggy's low experience are so pathetic. Our Traxxas will not be able to attack though, so might as well. Might as well attack something else. I think, I think they're pushing towards the airfield. I don't think I want that. I only need to kill the capturing unit. At least I can make it a little bit difficult for them. They have rain there, so they will take it at some point if they haven't taken property. And this is why you exist. Sacrifice yourself for the code common for the greater good. I think I have enough uh, units to actually take it down. I might if I can kill the demon, but I don't have much. Well, if I do more damage to it, uh, it'll lose the experience. Uh, this will do more damage, I think. Right, one point of health. It will be left with some experience even if it, uh, it's repaired fully, but not that much. It's pretty much worthless after the repair. Thank you. 
26 energy. <sighs> 21 for a sea plane. Um, we are not getting enough materia to keep producing those. Could do uh, two. Point being, we don't want to build anything extra here. It's for the aircraft only. I could also move in a snake with a couple of soldiers, they would be able to take care of them. The battleship would destroy them, but it can't kill all of them before they reach it. Not exactly a winning tactic, usually. Uh, maybe a couple of extra buggies. I mean, we, we are gonna need some... we do have a... A couple of stings, a couple of buggies, so once they get a little bit of experience, this is a potent attack group. Maybe we don't need anything at the moment. I could take on this thing. Two heavy tanks blocking this, we have uh, the artillery coming in. Pulsars can actually shoot the fortifications, but you need a very experienced pulsar before it has firepower to actually destroy it. Mm. Still, if you're within firing range, might as well take advantage of that. We have uh, infantry here. No, but we have the ranger, which is much, much, much better. Um, I'm wondering, do I need to do something else, or is this it? Um, that's pretty much it. I need to get the air defense batteries here. Doesn't really matter where. But this general area is good enough. The enemy seems to be moving always here. It's probably the range it can move with the aircraft. So if they're anywhere near there, they can take care of the rest. I still don't want to lose any of my aircraft. The genome, as shitty as it is, it's much cheaper to repair it than it's to build a new one. Although, at this point, I might as well build an external here. And no, I can't. Not here. Only gunships. It's the same cost. Gunships are more material. Ooh, we could build a Medusa here. Uh, not worth it. Very expensive, fairly useless overall. The gunship would be a sacrificial unit. They would be we would use two baiters, the exterminator and the gunship to attack the battle. I, I sort of want something else besides the three. The three are highly experienced kill units, but I, I want something that basically... I, I can't see. I need someone to basically just go there and eat some shit because of the battleship. And the rest can... Uh, when the rest know where to go, they can target specifically. But... I mean, it has a firing range of eight. So if I just go there, it's very unlikely that I'll actually hit it. And actually, well, the gunship might die, it's just... I, I don't know how well that would go. I'm sure if it's a good idea. I suppose I could use the genome for that. I mean, it is, per it is a fairly worthless thing, otherwise. And it just has to see them. 
it doesn't necessarily need to be repaired either, it's gonna die either way. It's a waste of energy and material to repair it. The real question is, do I want to start producing units here? They have uh, quite a lot of units. Their only weakness is that they're far away from their supply lines at the moment. That'll change quickly now that they have the city there. What exactly would we want to build, though? Another buggy, maybe? Something that can uh, quickly take care of enemy units that come through this corridor? I mean, we need to bottle them here. Otherwise, we'll be eating medium range missiles constantly. We need anti-aircraft capabilities. We have two comets. They get a little bit of experience, they might be useful, but in all likelihood they're just gonna get killed now. Uh, I suppose I'll just wait for what happens. We have the energy in storage. We'll react depending on what happens next. And these guys should take maybe a couple of turns. Before they're available to attack the battleship. One turn here, another turn here, then they're uh, pretty much ready to attack. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I have to sacrifice something. But if the battleship gets a chance to attack those units, I, I'm not, I don't think I have the fire part to take down. It has to be something else. Genome would be a great thing, but I, I still think we might want to go for something else. We're throwing in quite a lot of our key veteran units into that effort. It cannot fail. I I'm okay with losing something, but fundamentally the battleship has to go down without too much possible. And no radar for us. And more exterminators. Yep. might get entirely annihilated. I'm not sure if that's an acceptable outcome. I don't recall seeing this uh, failure condition. But it might be for all I know. Also, aircraft coming from the south, so, so they control the airfield there. Which makes things a lot more complicated, because if I go after the battleship now, there's also going to be aircraft take part in the fighting. It's amazing how he can't kill anything. 
still producing a lot of armor cores there. Because what you well you don't want to run out of ammunition when you have like five minutes left. Better construct more ammunition transports. Fucking rain. No one's going anywhere anymore. Yeah, it's going to turn everything to shit. Oh, this is going to be well. Road construction vehicle. It's uh, okay, I suppose. No one's walking anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, they control this. New exterminator is incoming. I suppose we want to kill the capture units. At the same time, we want the yellow to lose that. It's two points of experience, uh, I mean energy only, but it's two points that will be wasted on the yellow. Should try to kill the tanker plane. Do we only have one anti air camp? Yeah, that's something we need to fix. I oh, know we have two, but this wild one is dead. Sacrifice for the greater good. Since they now have an exterminator factory right next to us, I think we do want to brew some extra anti-air capabilities, something that can move in the shitty terrain too. We have to decide do we want to build an additional aircraft. We don't have the energy for it if we don't do it now. Dare go off the road. Not with the weather changing at any moment.
I'd really like to give some uh, free space here for the buggies. Uh, I could also use uh, upper capture unit. Oh, we have the ranger. Need to repair the exterminator. Need to do something about the genome. Either repair it or I don't see why you you wouldn't repair it. But we need to be ready to move out quickly. Be a radar blocking vehicle here. There isn't a lot. Of, I at least can't see a lot of anti-air capabilities. Certainly not spotters, but you have to assume they have radars there. Big problem is that even if I use the elixir to cover some units, the elixir is probably going to be spotted. Energy on the next turn, and I get 13 each turn, so I could produce another aircraft. Mm. It also produce a uh, construction vehicle. Uh, didn't mean to actually do it, but I guess it's done now. I, I didn't realize it was an option. I don't regret doing it. I'm bringing a construction vehicle here anyway. And I could still do the gunship. Yeah, I'm good. This better work. Because if we're wasting these units for nothing, we're. Ah, oh, that's gonna be a catastrophe. It's going to be a load game, likely. We have so many users for the baiters. Pretty much anywhere they would be able to totally negate the air part in So, going here one way or another makes a lot of sense. I mean, now go on the land side too. But that doesn't make all the sense. We could do something different too. Basically, do something like move the samurai there, but I think they can produce at least infantry. So, more than anything, we do need some kind of protective unit here. If anything, we should probably consider making more. It's not a priority. Uh, once the battleship is gone, we can bring in an infantry unit somehow. So, who do you want to attack? Go for the infantry or weaken the tanks? Either way, we're gonna be stuck in mods. I build a road construction vehicle here, and I can't do it anymore. should attack the artillery. The problem is, I don't think I have the range to get back from that. How to fuel samurai?
Could attack something. Free experience, I'm not throwing it away. Well, it puts the snake in quite a bit of danger. Uh, all, all along here, surrounded by enemies, they can do a massive amount of damage very quickly. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Still the same problem with take for cracks here. Okay, now that we finally engage some enemies, I'm much less confident about our chances here. If we could have got the gotten the or the yellow would have gotten the central city just to get the initial troops there, that could have changed a lot of things. But uh, I think they got like a half a dozen decent uh, arm armored troops there. That's a lot of extra killing you have. Yeah, definitely pumping out demons now. Techno tracks is gone. So that's pretty much the range of the medium we saw. I'm gonna count to 20 squares at that. That should pretty much be the edge. It can be a little bit deeper, but I, I think we. this city more or less is where. Where the edge is going to be. Jesus Christ, they have dash point. Uh, we might want to pull back if we still have our capable, because we're within firing range of medium range itself, and the weather is changing, so we are stuck basically for some time. I didn't actually recall where the techno track was now. Uh, a little bit above the other group. I think I, I killed a Dean. And the Hydra is gone. Thank the gods. So this is probably now yellow is worthless, light brown is worthless. They're both basically sitting more or less in their base areas. They don't aggressively attack. So it's between me and red to decide who's actually going to win this horrible thing. Yeah, no one's doing any attack now. Should I give you experience? Um, think about that. Exterminator. We have so little air to but putting in about four points, maybe, it could drastically increase our performance. We're relying on a very few units to get this done. So I think quality over quantity. We certainly have the extra turn before these are even in position. Could do it. This is going to be a one way trip for the gym. Dragon, maybe. Uh, I don't know really care. Exterminator must survive. Yeah. A little bit of air experience. We have three very, very, very big things here now. Probably bond one Alcor here. 
I mean, I do want to replenish the ammunition on these things, so... A decent amount, but we do have a recognition in the vehicle here. Yeah, there's not gonna be any attacks now. Aircraft are being my and they naval units are pretty much the only thing that is gonna be able to move around. Right. this works. Uh, it's not exactly a uh, answer to a lot of problems though, is it? about what we can produce, we don't have the energy to do shit. We don't have the fuel to get out of it. Okay, the sectional tracks was where? It wasn't here. Uh, somewhere here. More or less somewhere here though. Might have attacked the demon here. But... 20... Pretty much the... Center area of their empire. So good luck trying to get some kind of attack on. We would have to. Well, we know more or less where it is, and uh, it can probably attack here overall. But it. We should be able to push toward, secure the airfield here and push the light ground back somewhat. But I think we need to hold our ground and get the airfield to the battleship, gain control of this area in general, then we can probably not attack on the light ground without that too much possible. It is just an infuriating position. It's a uh, attacking with naval or army units is pretty uh, totally out of the question. It's just you're just throwing your things away. You want to We're not moving anywhere.
one shot left. I don't think I'll be moving anywhere really. I don't even dare to risk a rocket tanks, so it's not worth it. They're building techno tracks and quasars. Lots and lots of quasars. Although, they have to have a factory fairly close by. These haven't spent all that much fuel. Maybe he got them for free here. I wasn't paying too much attention to what they have there. I have the energy to do anything. Infantry coming. Uh, yeah, this is this is horrible. I I'm just going to have to stand ground because what else am I going to do? But this came at a very, very, very bad time. This can't move anything. Not really. Uh, I'll I'll make everything so vulnerable if I do. And get out of the forest with the rocket tank. I suppose I might have shoot an asshole like that. Gotta shoot some. But Dashron won't die, and I was just driving away. That's not going to do as much good. And yeah. No matter what I do, I can't really do much. I did not realize it would be this bad. Yeah, the battleship is one of the least of our problems at this point. It's gonna be mir a miracle if we survive somehow. As well, it's not like their attack is gonna be all that. Uh, Amazing either, the weather is terrible for everyone. No one is really moving anywhere, but tracked units at least move. This might go very close to the 100 turns unless I have some kind of mir miracle in my back pocket. Yeah, they just have a uh, very capable air force, and now I can't move my counter units to respond to them. I can't pull my units away from them either, so I'm just sitting here taking casualties. This might destroy the entire attack force we have on the eastern side, and then what? Then we're so fucked, we have nothing after that. Restart, I suppose, at that point. It might be a very realistic possibility. I could do so much better if I restarted now. We would need to attack the battleship a long time ago. Bring the hovercraft there. Try to get the airfield and push here. Much more focus, I think, on uh, air units in general. Because, yeah, we've uh, constructed some ground units, but we've uh, mostly we've lost the ground units we've constructed already. Without doing anything really interesting there, we could have exchanged them for a handful of aircraft that could be very experienced at this point. It's not exactly a massive game changer, but it should matter. Uh, know how to build construction vehicles earlier on. So we're gonna need some kind of V-fill. 
I'm not sure how to do this. One option would be to put these guys here, because they don't have that much of a moment. Uh, uh, what was the edge? Yeah, the battleship can shoot further away. So, but if we move into a place like this, we might be able to move directly next to it. It has trouble using its big guns on uh, such, such distances. So it might be exactly what we need to make things work for us. Gunship could do the same, but the aircraft cannot do that. And it could have moved its place, for all I know. I doubt it. It's, uh, it seems to be that its reason to exist is to protect... Uh, it's sort of like the artillery piece here. It's just exist to piss me off. Yeah, that should be the strike distance. I I'm not sure if I want to go there now. Because we need another turn to move these here. I'd be better to just wait. Genome could almost directly just fly here and see what's there. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll go wait another turn. While move these here while we can move these inside. Then do at the same time. Okay. Now I even unload these now. The weather might prevent it. Yeah. So as long as the weather is like this, we don't actually have any anti-air capability. This is a pretty much a catastrophe. Yeah, how weather can screw you over in this game. Amazing. Could take people into protection, or we should. But yeah, anti-air is the name of the game. That's something we need in order to do pretty much anything. I can even escape again. Yes. Pretty much the worst possible thing that could have happened to us. They have quite a bit of experience. They've been using yellow as target practice. can't really move, I'm the only protection some of these units will ever have. Ah, shit. I also don't want to attack because of it. Need to move, otherwise they're just gonna take three shots.
At least I don't regret building those anti-air comets. They're not great, but... We can use every stinking one of them. They're building rocket tanks, repairing techno tracks. Well, it's better than doing more hour cores, I suppose. Don't have the energy to really produce anything. At least nothing worthwhile. So I'll play, play at least until we make our attack on the battleship. So within two turns we can probably put something together, maybe three and we'll see the outcome. If that goes south, I, I don't know what we can do. Because the Eastern Front is on the brink of collapse already. So if we fail the battleship attack, the Eastern Front collapses. We don't really have troops to attack the Light Brown either, so I, I don't know what we can do. We're basically totally fucked at that point. Yeah, we lost pretty much everything. It doesn't matter if we some of these units survive. We have no capability of opposing the enemy force here. So it doesn't matter in the slightest. For pract all practical purposes, it, we lost this. And it, it doesn't require a huge amount of changes to have a totally different outcome. We have to have more reliance on, on tracked units, I suppose. We need to be know where the ambushes are. We need to know where, basically, where to build the road construction vehicles, where to start moving anti-air units right from the start, where to position everything. Instead of uh, sending things to the wrong places and not really knowing that. It's a lot of turns wasted on units, especially the Vaders. We could have basically just stuck them in some... And the weather is okay, you get right. Stuck them in some kind of a... Like the headquarter, right from the start and give them the experience they need to push through here. Instead of uh, doing this long, long... I don't know what the fuck am I doing thing we did here. Yeah, destroying the... getting rid of the destroyers was nice, but we still after still after that we wasted quite a bit of time here. So did did we build anything useful here? I think we got the heavy artillery that has proven to be pretty worthless. So. So we didn't get anything useful out of it, not really. It's ours, we can have a hold on it, but nothing great came out of it. I suppose I built a piece of road there, that's it. And we never actually took advantage of it, because it doesn't matter as long as the battleship is there. It doesn't matter in the slightest. Right. Exterminate wars. Uh, they run out of good ammunition, I suppose that's something. I'll be able to salvage some of this shit. Okay, we need to start attacking the exterminators. They're easier targets than that. Oh my god, it's it's more powerful than a tank. And it didn't even have its uh, main ammunition. Uh, oh, see this fuck. But now we'll have to keep attacking it. I think he got some kind of terrain bonuses from being in forest or something.
the Patriot Tag. I, I can't go there because I'm not the missiles can shoot me. can't go there because you're blocking that and that's a rock too. right now. I could parcel well Yeah there's no way I can capture shit. That's probably full of enemy units now. That opportunity has passed. I need to. I think I'll just need to build buggies and um, anti air tanks. Um, I don't build anything now. I need to get the anti-air fighting uh, under control. A buggy will not help there, but we need the buggies to keep things under control otherwise. Um, I could build a road construction vehicle, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea here now. I mean, really not a bad idea. The weather changes are absolutely dead on us. And it's gonna take time before we can really do anything with it. It's gonna take a lot of time to construct all that. And we lost a fuel truck. Can't fight without a fuel truck. It's just not an option, so might as well start constructing that. Can you actually place this somewhere? Better choices to build where to build these things. But now that I can build the road wherever I want, this would be a great place. It wouldn't block where people are going. But I, I need to get this out quickly. At least we have some kind of airplanes now, and it can support the units here. Final pair of eyes they had here. I don't know if I should attack it. I can easily destroy it, but I'm not so sure I can uh, escape the range of the Iron Star. There it is. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. And um, there's a good chance it's not gonna be the only one. At least we are starting to heal off the defensive players. I need to take things close even now. Air defense turrets don't fire quite as long as the main guns. Uh, these have uh, quite a significant terrain, so I don't have to go into hugging distance. To get rid of these defensive structures, start building boat here again. Well, at bare minimum, I need to get rid of them. Anything else? I don't have the energy for it. Okay. Next turn is the deciding one. Everything already turned to shit, we're just gonna find out how much of a shit COVID we have. Did we eat? Only underestimated the red. Didn't hear from it for, for so long, I just. Didn't really see it being able to produce this much uh, resistance. I guess the bigger problem is that I see it as uh, army navy uh, combination more or less, and having the flight route from uh, use the air force at a constant basis. Not that the red is the main air force. Yeah, no more radar for us. Now they have a full experience exterminator there. Ah, we need to wrestle some of the cities away from him. That'll probably helps explain why so many exterminators are going away. Yeah, Ranger. I think we have to basically hold the line and uh, kill all Rangers coming our way. We will have to have some kind of gunships all the line, pretty much. Something that they can, uh, they have to be able to use the cities to replenish. And we have to be have uh, something in storage that can easily retake the cities. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a complicated thing no matter what I do. With a half a dozen aircraft, I might be able to do some kind of suicide run on the missile. I, I I know barely where, where it is. The problem is, it's going to be surrounded by anti-radar. So unless I have some kind of radar plane, it's not going to really work. I need to be able to spot the locations where it's likely that it is. <sighs> so let's see. I think I'd like to play, place the other one somewhere in here, put the road there and place it here.
Nothing coming our way. It's a bit risky to attack the Iron Star now that we don't really see it. Hopefully this is enough to do it. Demolish things, build roads, so the rangers can move back and forth with the EVs. That's basically our goal. We'll keep a couple of units here as fence, but not... There hasn't been a serious attack on this area in a long, long time anymore. And we have better uses for energy to repair those. Okay. Shit. That was the, well, pretty much the worst possible outcome. Free experience for the scene. But maybe not. It has three low short range weapons. We just need to avoid the main guns. I don't think it's anti-air power, so that's amazing. Uh, one way to test it, actually, I should probably use the most experience unit first. Only one can... The minimum range, I think, was... Ooh, they have more units here. Uh, minimum range was 3, right, 1, 2, and I don't think he can go anywhere else, I mean, uh, this is uh, sh shallow water, so I should can't go there. If I go right next to it, it can't possibly shoot at us. Troll can wait. And have the range to attack, and yeah, they're going to destroy the gym. Good care. Might be a reason to hold back with these, though. They have at least three units, four capable of attacking. I think I'll hold back these. See what happens. Virgo Airport. Virgo Airport should be in ours sometime though. We have uh, launched a quicker capture attempt on these. So we would have to have pulled back the units pretty much immediately though. I'm I'm not sure. By thinking of pushing forward with these. I mean, yeah, if the battleship can shoot at us, so what? If it shoots, it's going to be annihilated without being able to do much. But we don't really care. What can you do? Uh, well, capture unit cannot be allowed to come so close. They have rangers too. Hard to defend against those. Good 
I think it can produce Nash horns. There's too many Nash horns coming our way to be some kind of natural thing. And we have to sacrifice ourselves against the exterminators. Just have to. This guy has to die. Holy shit, yeah, it's just he's just too good. And allow him to live. It's mostly the cause of yellow. He hasn't been able to produce any kind of a solid air defense, so they've been easy picking. Now there's a huge amount of highly experienced aircraft causing havoc on our brand. How are we gonna retake this if they can trade? We have also sent the hovercraft to go around this, destroy the aircraft carrier, wipe out the defenders here, build a road here so they could come on land and refuel, recharge, that sort of thing. So, point being, they should have been given experience and then just sent out to do something. But the problem is, of course, that if you blindly send them out, uh, they're, you usually just end up killing them. And not really achieving anything worthwhile at the It's an easy way to get the samurai back in the fighting order. It's a bit too risky now that I'm seeing rangers all, all over the place. Yeah, we probably could have a uh, gunship and transport helicopter groups to hold control of these. If they come with a ranger, we can just take the free ranger and pull back they come with something else that leaves there with used gunships to take care of them. Uh, maybe buggy, something that we basically can go back and forth on. But at the moment I feel like I lost the race. I especially got stuck there for a long time. The hovercraft would have been cool. I'm not sure it's like, it's not something you can't recover from, it's just instead of being able to do things in a reasonable amount of turns, now the 100 turns doesn't seem all that far away. Yeah, for 20 turns pretty much played, and it's probably going to take another 20 before things are going to really settle down here, and that's a lot of turns to spin. I mean, if we would have acted faster, we could have hold those extra energy sources for that time. Now we are going to have to fight for them. That's a lot of airplanes we could have done. We'll see the outcome of this. Mr. Battleship, that's my... What exactly are you? Uh, well, how are they? They're gonna kill the Genom aircraft. That hardly matters. He was always a decoy. But what else are you? Destroy the Vader, right. 
a weaker Vader would have been killed with a super shot. Also, he couldn't use his main guns on it. It's an uh, important bit of information because now I know you can't kill the other Vader if I attack with it. He's giving me some trouble, but um, uh, I have no doubt that I can hold this every time. But if, he, if the red gets the factory here too, that's gonna be a real problem. It's another area that I have to basically dig him out of. And Mr. Light Brown. I'm a bit worried about him too. He probably has a very substantial uh, construction capabilities, but we haven't heard from him uh, in a long time, nothing at all. And I don't think he's basically uh, done enough. He's been busy doing something. I'm going to do the first strike from the exterminator for one important reason. His anti-air capabilities can seem all that impressive. Yikes. Well, I'm gonna lose the exterminator. Oh, shit. So, anti-air, 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 anti-air. Right. Probably was a uh, free transport helicopter here too. So if you can make a big attack here, things open up quite a bit. <sighs> and who knows what's here if you are quick enough to go. It... I think it cascades quite nicely. So whoever is the fastest gets all the rewards and Gets, gets the advantage of this uh, final. Whoever turtles and just tries to buy time, hold defenses, is gonna just have a harder and harder and harder time of it. Would have been a nice thing to realize a long, long time ago. Now it's, uh, now it's a thing you might be able to take advantage advantage of the next time you play. And by the time you play it next time you will already forgot it.
Oh. We really should put pressure on these. Put up down now that the attack on the bell is quite a bit bigger. I'm actually thinking of just feeding the genome here. The exterminator is much more valuable. And even if uh, one, one or two of these units just decides to shoot this, it would be great. It's a worthless unit as far as I'm concerned. More of it has to die, it's the eyes in this place. It's basically a mobile radar. Also see if they have another iron star here or not. There's a good chance there could be something there. I don't think we would lose anything, and uh, that information is pretty valuable to us. We need to know what they have. from the missile, don't particularly care. And I need to harass you. Every capture unit that comes within our detection range needs to be engaged pretty much immediately. So, let's see the aftermath. At least the battleship is gone, but uh, this could have gone so much better. So much better. The biggest problem is I still don't have an answer to those medium range missiles. I can't exactly afford to just send, uh, basically, save points to get an air aircraft group going, and there's no guarantee that even if I could do it, that it would be enough. What am I gonna do until then? Just hold there and do nothing? Yeah, we have 100 turns, but it's not an infinite amount of time, it's gonna be a problem quite soon. If I can basically come up with something, something that might work. I'm 
Uh, it's about turn 20 at this point. I think it was 18, so 19 now. If at probably tour, let's say turn 40, something around that, we basically haven't broken its back here and uh, gotten something decent going. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna go all the way. This is one of those that we might. Ooh, yeah, they have that secondary iron star. We might not have the inertia after a while to bring this home. So saying that because it's a hundred turn mission that it's going to be decided through fighting and not anything else. I'm not sure if it is. They can buy the time. Ah, shit. If I had just captured things a little bit faster, we wouldn't have to go through this. Whatever they say is some kind of a posture fuck. Still, I guess we're just gonna crush it through. Rail starting at you. Restarting now seems premature, and I can always just mark things afterwards if I spend the eight, the five to eight hours basically that ends up going nowhere and just mark it beforehand that it's dead end. No one has to waste their time on it. 